What's up, Grinders? It's the Country CEO back with another video talking about that dump truck business yet again. These videos have been of any value to you. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give a comment. We'll be glad to respond to you. Today's video talks about monthly expenses associated with the dump truck business. Mo monthly expenses, right? Everybody wants to know how much money you can make and all that good stuff, but what are the expenses? that are associated with being in the dump truck business, right? Because you can make the money, but you need to know what your expenses are uh, to see what kind of, what your profit margins are and what kind of money that you are making, right? All right, so I wanna give you the game on that. First thing up uh, on your month of the expenses that pretty much is gonna be fixed. These are fixed expenses, meaning these are gonna be the same pretty much every month uh, or either you know you got to do pay this at least uh, once a month. First one is truck note. All right. So if you obviously if you finance your truck, uh, then you know that that's going to be something uh, that's going to be needed uh, to be paid every month. Obviously, if you don't pay them, they will show you better than they can tell you uh, what they will do. All right. And so you got to factor in what kind of truck note uh, you got. Uh, I've always advocated anyone getting started, try to get in with some kind of modest note, nothing way high, uh, but nothing, you know, way low to where you, cause that's an indicator you may not have gotten a, a substantial truck. Uh, if I just had to throw a number out there, if you can get that note starting out 1500, 2000 a month, somewhere in that range, uh, then you're doing good because new trucks cost, their notes are 35 and $4,000 now, right? So if you could get that note on a used truck, 1500, between 1500 and 2000, uh, that's pretty much uh, a, a good note these days and times. All right. Second fixed expense uh, associated with dump truck business is going to be your insurance, right? Uh, we we know that in every state it's um, uh, certainly required that you got to have insurance on the vehicle. Uh, most of the contractors we work with now are requiring uh, one million dollars worth of coverage, uh, but you could probably get a buy with five hundred. For most customers, um, I've even seen some uh, let some guys work for three hundred thousand. But but those days of working for that that low are gone. You're gonna need at least a half a million. Uh, I advocate a million uh, uh, just to protect you and your family and your assets and and those things that you may own. Uh, that's of course even if you got an LLC or not, a million dollars I think should be the standard. All right, so you're gonna have to um, pay. Uh, a uh, fixed monthly uh, note for that insurance. Uh, that could range anywhere, one truck, depending on the value of your truck. So I can't tell you exactly uh, what that would be. All right, but you could probably factor in anywhere, somewhere between 700 a month to 1500, depending on your driving record, depending on the amount of the truck, those kinds of things. But if that's a fixed expense, all right? Not only that, but also work must come. Um, Obviously, uh, I said, I think in a previous video that if you're driving yourself, well, you don't have to worry about work must come. All right. Uh, and most uh, customers still are not requiring it if you drive for yourself. Uh, those that do, even if you're driving for yourself, some of them will just take it out. All right. And so this can be an expense that's fixed. Right. Uh, certainly, if you got a driver, then you ought to have work must come. So it's definitely a fixed expense if you got a driver. All right. But if you don't. Um, uh, have a driver and you're driving it yourself, you don't necessarily have to have workman's come, but it's going to cost you either by the fact are you paying for a policy or if you're working for customers, most of them, if you don't have it, they're taking it out, right? So it's a monthly expense either way you look at it, all right? The third uh, uh, expense that's associated with the dump truck business, uh, obviously, is fuel. Truck has to have fuel uh, to run on diesel, uh, what have you, all right? And, uh, and so, you you know, uh, you're going to have to do that, fill that truck up at least two to three times a week, depending on the kind of job you're on. If you're fortunate enough to get an hourly job when you're doing a lot of sitting, you might just have to fill up one time a week. All right. But if you're running back and forth on a job by the load or delivering to a, from one place to the next, you're going to have to fill up somewhere between two to three times a week. So that fuel is going to be a fixed expense. After you run for about a month, you'll be able to kind of break it down between what's it, what it's costing you a month and by week and uh, that kind of thing. All right. All right. And so now watch this. If you have a, a newer model truck, you will discover that a new expense that's also a fixed expense is death fluid. Right. Diesel exhaust fluid. We didn't have to worry about that when I got started. 
but the later model trucks you buy, you find that diesel exhaust fluid expense is a real expense. So uh, you can go ahead and factor that in. Uh, but uh, depending on how you run diesel exhaust fluid, typically will you'll fill up about uh, two to three times a month with that. But it is an expense. Okay. All right. And then obviously, if you got a drive on the truck, that's a monthly or a weekly expense that adds up to a monthly expense. Because if you got a driver, I'm sure, of course, you're going to have to pay them every week. Right. And you got to figure out what that is. I don't know where it is in your or uh, whatever uh, geographical place you're located. But here, the going rate for our drivers pretty much is is no less than $18 an hour right now. Right. And so. You figure 18, no less than 40 hours a week, that can kind of give you a ballpark, all right? But that's a fixed expense if you're try my, talking about getting a truck and putting a drive on it, all right? And so add up all those things, your, your truck note, um, your, your insurance, your workman's comp, your fuel, your death fluid, all right, your driver. Here's another one, preventive maintenance. Within that month, there's some preventive maintenance expense that you're going to have to uh, uh Dash, dash out, right? You're going to have to spend, right? All right. Uh, such thing as getting that truck greased at least two times in that month, sometimes three. In the summertime, uh, that, that grease tends to uh, get used up pretty quick as that truck is moving and shaking in those high temperatures. And so you may have to get that truck greased two, three times uh, within that month. That's an expense. Uh, whether you do it yourself, it's going to cost you in grease. Or if you hire somebody to do it, it's going to cost you. But that truck is going to have to be greased within that month's time. All right. Then you may have some expense associated with uh, washing the truck. Uh, typically, we try to do that once or twice a month. All right. And these are just uh, maintenance things of just just uh, uh, just average things. Right. But uh, every week, uh, any uh, truck driver who's worth his salt knows that you got to look over that truck. Right. And so you're going to be popping that hood at the end of the week on the weekends trying to see do you see things right. Catch things before they go bad. Right. You might discover your oil is a little low. Your coolant is a little low and you got to go to the store and you got to buy those things and top those things off. That's the expense. Right. Within that month. All right. You might discover that one of your belts is wearing. Boom. Catch that before it gets bad. Right. And just on and on. But but that's called preventive maintenance. You're looking over that truck on the weekends and you're trying to see where this leak may need to be stopped, where this tire looks like it has a slow leak, whatever. But those are that's preventive maintenance expense. Right. All right. And so that that's within your the month's time that you're going to have to budget for, allocate some money for, depending on uh, what kind of shape the truck that you have. Right. But it's good to be proactive about things and try to get on top of maintenance before it gets on top of you. OK. All right. So all of those five things is kind of a sort of fixed expenses, things that you can look to have to spend money on within a month's time. Right. So let me give you some additional expenses that can happen within a month's time. They may or may not happen. So I don't call these fixed expenses. They are unforeseen things that can happen. Obviously, breakdowns. Right. You have a blowout with a tire or if you have a breakdown, alternator goes out, might need batteries. Um, you know, just anything could happen. Belts blow, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, air dry could go out. Uh, air brake can could go out. Just whatever. You know, uh, uh, these are trucks. Sooner or later, things going to break, right? And so uh, those are unforeseen expenses within that month uh, that you could have. And then once a year, you're going to also have these expenses that are going to occur in that same month. Road taxes, road taxes, road taxes. 364 is what it costs for us here in Louisiana. You're going to have to pay that once a year. And then watch this. Here, you have to pay the road taxes from the previous year before you can renew your tag. All right. And so you're going to renew your tag yearly for us here in Louisiana for the truck tracks or dump trucks is four hundred twenty two dollars to renew that tag. Right. And so you're going to have to be to pay the road taxes before you can renew the tag. Right. All right. So be sure to be on top of your road taxes. And all you have to do is take that tax form, go in and renew your tag once a year. All right. This is this video month of expenses associated with the dump truck business. Hope it's been helpful to you to kind of get a gauge of what you would be looking at. Uh, this vi video has been uh, value to you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we'll be glad to respond to you. Till the next time, the country CEO, peace out.